दरगाह हजरत सैदानिमा साहेबा सेकंदराबाद द मॉन्यूमेंट इज लोकेटेड एट द नॉर्दर्न एंड ऑफ हुसैन सागर दैट इज स्टैंड बर्न कनेक्टिंग सिकंदराबाद टू हैदराबाद द टोम वाज बिल्ट पर हजरत सैदानिमा साहेबा मदर ऑफ अब्दुल हक दिलेर जन हु वाज अ हाई रैंक ऑफिशियल सैदानिमा साहेबा डाइड इन द ईयर 1883 द टोम वाज बिल्ट विद कुतुब शाही आर्किटेक्चरल फीचर्स The Asad Jahi period had seen a departure in terms of tomb constructions as the nizams and their nobility preferred simple memorials. The tradition of grand tombs had been abandoned with the fall of Golconda. The mid 19th century saw a renaissance in the architecture of Hyderabad when major restorations of Qutub Shahi monuments were initiated by Sir Salar Jung 1. a revival of qutub shahi traditions both in architectural style and embellishment techniques is evident from a study of the surviving buildings of this period the mausoleum of saida nima is a prime example of this revival as it not only confirms to the golconda style of tomb construction but he is also profusely decorated with a traditional intricate stucco patterns which are a hallmark of qutub shahi architectural embellishment saidanima's tomb comprises of a square inner core three stories high with a wrap around arcade veranda the facade of the ground floor is made up of five arches three central stucco molded multifoil cuspid arches spring from profusely embellished bluster columns while the slightly larger and arches are flanked by rectangular pillars with panels of intricate geometric designs in stucco a narrow projections over the colonnade held aloft by a row of simple stucco plastered brackets forms the first of simple stucco plastered brackets forms the first of three profusely decorated bands that run all along the parapet dividing it into two equal parts the lower portion is decorated with floral motifs on a plain background while the upper part is perforated with small arches the parapet is surmounted with exquisitely proportioned slender minarets with larger ones on square arch bases defining each corner the scheme of projections brackets parapet and decorations is replicated on the second level which rests on a square base with three blanket arches on each face centrally from the top of this level rises an octagonal cylinder surmounted with a bucket of lotus petals held together with deep cut rope patterned stucco rings which form a decorative base for the smooth finished bulbous dome the front and back side of the tomb consists of total 10 arches five arches on each side extreme corner arches are slightly bigger in size Huge pillars are seen standing in the hall of the tomb. The encircled veranda also consists some grave structures. The central dome's inner portion is well designed and decorated with flora and fauna. It is given a shape of conch with multiple spiraling decorations and the borders are very attractively molded. The dome was constructed starting from the first floor of the structure. The parapet wall is well designed in two tiered style. Floral designs are observed abundantly on the structure. Small niches are also provided in the parapet wall. Conch shaped kalasha motifs are also observed on the tomb. The tomb of Abdullah Haq Dilair is also present nearby this monument possessing intricate jali work. The most remarkable features of the tomb of Saida Nima is that Despite of the profuse use of different intricate stucco decorations in embellishment the facade does not appear cluttered from a distance the monument gives the impression of a finely crafted piece of filigree 
and when viewed closely one is overwhelmed by the intricacy of patterns and excellence of craftsmanship evident in each decorated element